Hello, hello, it's me, SB. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see here, we are going to be making some easy crochet beanies. And these are very, very beginner friendly. We are only using one stitch, and it is the half double crochet. They're both made with the same yarn. And the hook that I'm using today is an H8 or a 5mm hook. And of course, worsted weight yarn. And the yarn that I'm using today is Red Heart as well. T to start off, we're gonna chain 61. Now, this is a different way of starting your hat. Normally, what you would do is you chain and then slip stitch the chain together. But what I like to do is just work the first row, just so it's a lot easier to not twist your chain. So now in the second chain from the hook, we are going to half double crochet all the way across to the end. And once you get that done, that's when we will join our foundation chain together to work in the round. Really easy. Um, I prefer this method. It may take, I don't think it takes any longer than doing it the other way. In my opinion, it, it actually takes less time because what usually happens whenever I, I do it that way, whenever I chain and then attach it together, I tend to twist it somewhere. Even if I'm really careful, I wind up twisting the chain and it just does not work for me. Be sure to slip stitch to that very first half double crochet. And then we're just gonna half double crochet all the way around, grab your stitch marker, place it in the first stitch and work your way around. This next round is going to set up the rest of the pattern. So we're going to work two half double crochet front post into the next two stitches. Or I always say it wrong. So it's going to be one half double crochet front post and then another half double crochet front post. And then we're going to work two half double crochet front posts. And that's going to be the pattern all the way around. It's going to give you that little ribbing, ridgy look throughout the hat. And yeah, what I usually do is I just go for as long as I want, basically, until I, I feel like it's right. Okay, and we're going to measure from right there. That's where I stopped the ridges. And it is about seven. Really, it's up to you how wide you do it. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the shaping. If you'd like, you could just forego the shaping and just half double crochet all the way around. As you can see here, I just did normal half double crochets because I felt that it took away from the bulk because when you cinch it up, it makes it really, really bulky. You'll see it here after a bit. But let's go ahead and half double crochet around and this is just normal half double crochets. What I did was I half double crocheted eight and then I half double crocheted two together. And that's gonna be the pattern all the way around.
I'm going to half double crochet seven and then half double crochet two together. And you know, you're just going to be doing that throughout. Okay, so you can do more decreases if you want and make, make it go all the way in. That is completely up to you, but I think I'm going to stop here. So yeah, right now it is about at eight and a half inches, and I think that's going to do pretty good. If you wanted to, you can continue on with your decreases and, you know, make it a little more slouchier. That's completely up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and just fasten off my work and being sure to leave a nice length of tail here because we're going to be using this to cinch up the top. Easy peasy. And we're just going to weave this in through the top, which you'll see here in a bit. So yeah, just go behind the stitches all the way around and cinch up the top. And then if you have a little hole at the top, uh, that's fine. You can very easily close that up. Okay, and there you go. So now all that's left to do is to weave in the ends, which I'll show here in a minute. So now I'm just gonna close up that little tiny hole that's up at the top, because I really don't like that. Alternatively, you could just put a pom-pom right there, sew it in, and boom, you know, it's done. But this is what I like to do. I just like to go around a couple more times and just lock that in place by by going through the opposite sides where I went through. So I think the video explains it better than what I could. All right, so since we did our beginning chain and our half double crochet in a row, we are gonna have to close up that little tiny gap that we left at the very beginning, and that is a very easily done. You just use your tail thread and just kind of lock it in. I like to kind of loop it around and then go through twice and then just lock it in 
by doing a little knot or whatever you call it, slip knot, and weaving in the ends. See, now it's like it never happened. <laughs> That's why I like doing it that way. So here is hat number two, and this one's made flat and in rows, and I think this is one of the fastest ones to work up, and you cinch it up at the top, really, really easy. So for this one, again, we are going to chain 46, and really that's going to depend on how slouchy you want the hat. We are going to half double crochet and we're going to half double crochet all the way across for a total of 45 half double crochets. going to half double crochet through the back loop for every single row and I chain one in turn but if you chain two you chain two um, I just prefer chaining one because it gives it a nice clean edge so yeah go ahead and just half double crochet across through the back loop for every single row until you get the width that you need Okay, so here is my completed panel, as you can see here. It gives a nice, beautiful texture. And here is a measurement for you. This is how wide I made mine. It was about 15 and one quarter inch. So yeah. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fold it in half. And we are gonna seam up the two ends together. So you're going to seam up the chain end and the end that you've been working on. So just like that. And then we're just going to, I'm just going to slip stitch through the front and the back loops to make that seam a little flatter. And yeah, easy. Just go up the side and done. Be sure whenever you fasten off to leave a nice long tail be hit yeah. because we are going to be using that to weave it in and cinch it up. So now we're just going to cinch up the top, so I'm just working on the side that we just got done with. Actually didn't leave my tail very long, but that's fine because we're pulling it anyways, we're pulling it tight. And yeah, you're just going to do it the exact same way as the other hat, weaving it in and out and pulling it tight. As you can see with this one, it is a little bulkier, so I did have a little more trouble closing up that the top there, but I'm just going to lock it in, and then I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did for the other one by weaving it through, closing up that hole by going through each opposite end. I did it slightly different with this one because the hole was so much bigger, but it's still the same concept to close it up. Uh, like I said, alternatively, you could just add a pom-pom to there and boom, you're done. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below if you enjoyed these hats. I thought they were super easy. 
Um, my favorite one is probably this one here, simply because it is more like, I don't know, floppy. It, it's not nearly as thick. I love the way it came out. I love the colors on that one. I just don't like the stripes the way they came out. But anyways, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I will catch y'all in the next video. Stay crafty, stay crocheting. I'll see y'all later. Bye.